I did grow up here, and, and I still romanticize it for some reason. I saw Mother's Finest in this venue in 1975, and I may not pay taxes in Georgia, but I, I still feel I'm a Meganite. We'll open up the floor for three questions. Open up and chat for a minute and talk about how they know each other, who they are, what uh, the concerto is. Well, you know, for the first thing I have to say is it's not a classical piece per se. It's a, you know, I'm not a classical composer. I have no pretensions to being a classical composer. It's a series of songs that I wrote that involve a rock band, a string section, and a brilliant violinist. You wrote a beautiful piece. You commissioned it. What happened? I listened to you. Well, one of Mike's movements in the concerto is called You Can Go Home Again. Uh, we wanted to tour it. I didn't want to just learn a new piece, <clears throat> go to somebody like Mike Mills to write a fantastic piece and just record it and put it on the shelf. We want to play it. And that's where Macon became an obvious choice. My family moved here from Atlanta in 1971. My parents were looking for the best uh, musical program in any church here. And the church that they found that had the best musical program was First Presbyterian Church program which is run by Bobby's mother Susan McDuffie who's here with the uh, girl tonight. And Bobby and I became friends uh, having to spend all Sunday together in various youth choirs and handbell choirs. I do remember that, that Macon was known outside of the South, that, um, that the Allman Brothers were famous uh, and Marshall Tucker, Wet Willie, those guys yeah. Uh, were successful. That, that I knew even as an adolescent here in Macon, going to private school up in North Macon. I didn't get to see any of the fun. Mike saw more of it. Mike actually played in Grant's Lounge. Grant's Lounge. Uh, Ed Grant, bless his heart, wherever he is. Uh, Grant's Lounge let my band play with Bill Berry when we were 18 years old. Don't say anything about it. I guess actually at that point 18 might have been legal. I got shipped off by my, by my parents to Juilliard. They sent me off when I was 16. I left Macon in late 1978 and moved to Athens in January 79, and REM didn't form until later in 1979. So I go up to uh, Juilliard and I get this call uh, from Mike. Bobby, I'm in a band. And it's called REM. And we're really excited about it. And we're playing in New York for the first time. And we're playing at a club, and it'd be so nice if you could come hear us. And I'm going, well, I have a class at eight, so I hope you do well. I hope your little band just grows and grows and grows. <laughs> so Mike and I had to leave Macon to realize our potential. And we both went off and, and made our careers, and, and now our careers have sort of combined and, and we're having a lot of fun and getting to bring it back home again. You know, I'm, I'm just so thrilled that, that, that Bobby and I have managed to, to close the circle.